Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem Engage. We are at the Somniel and we need to do our run around, talk to everybody, do our supports and all that sort of good housekeeping sort of stuff. I haven't done the strength training, wyvern, fishing, all those other miscellaneous things yet, um, but I will do them bet at, between this episode and the next episode. So, what's step number one? Step number one is easy. Step number one is it's changing the, the music. Dragon. Ooh. This is new. I mean, we've had dinner in Elusia before, but what's camping in Solm? Ooh. Okay. Let's have this one. And the spirit gem. Um, now, picking up the items is actually something that we probably want to do this episode um, instead of between the episodes, because picking up all these random pieces of junk should actually allow us to have things that we can use in order to gain supports. And we have quite a few supports that we're looking at. We need to do Alfred's support. We need to finish off the other supports from Firinate. I can't remember who else we are missing. It might just be Alfred and maybe Saline. Um, but if we finish them, then we've got some new people to look at. We also have two new potential party members for us to consider in Ro Oh, we need to speak to you. In Rosado and um, Gold Mary. And we need to figure out what's going on with them. Hello. But... I like the sound of all those ships headed to Furane. Eh? Can we get back there? I'm worried. But yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, we'll go to Furane. Eh? Maybe not right away, but we'll go to Furane. Eh? There are some other things that we potentially need to do before we go to Furane eh, as well, by the way. We potentially need to... Um, just working out where we need to go as well. Uh, that's fine, don't need to speak to you. Um, before we go to Furane, eh, it may be beneficial for us to do the DLC. Because uh, some people have said... Well, now seems like a good time to do it. And I kind of agree. We've got enough uh, tools in our like uh, tool cabinet to work things out here. We've got enough random uh, emblems that will hopefully allow us to win. And I think if we do it now, we're going to do it before the weapons move on to the next category, which would definitely be ideal. If the weapons move on to the next category, we're going to hit the thing where we're too weak to do it again. So I want to do it while we're still all on this category of weapon. So, hopefully that's fine. Unless, of course, us having done that previous, um, like, story quest has now pushed all the weapons into the next category and then we're screwed, but... I don't know. I don't know. I think we'll be okay. Uh, I'm just looking for uh, Gold Mary and Rosado while we're going around here, by the way. This is why I'm kind of spending a little extra second. Aha! There's one. Looking for them. I guess they must have uh, gold on them right now because we have supports. It must be Rosado top right then, maybe? I don't know. Anyway. Hey, Gold Mary. I'm impressed. What a lovely backdrop for someone like me to bask in. It suits you even better, of course. Okay. Um, Gold Mary is very um, confident in her abilities. I think that would be the best way of putting it. Right. Uh, Gold Mary. Initial class hero. Birthday, July 18th. Basic info, fought alongside Princess Hortensia against the Divine Dragon's army. Later joined them, bringing Rosado and the Ring of the Azure Twins with her. I do wonder whether that ring was planned to be like a ring that you needed to use on two people and then they abandoned that idea. The reason why I was suggesting that could be what that ring was meant to be is just because it gives you a, on a mission where you get two people and it kind of seems a little odd that it's like, hey, yeah, you, Rosado, you use the ring. It's like, well, why doesn't, you know... Why, why, why can't they both use it or something? Like, that would seem like a more, like, suitable one from a story perspective. I don't know. It seems odd. It seems very odd that it was done that way. Anyway, whatever. Uh, it is as it is. Um, yeah, grab that. Grab that. Grab that. Uh, who have we got up here? This was Ado? Oh, this is Saline. Okay. Ah. Uh. I can't stop picturing all those warships. I fear that Elusia means to invade my home again. Okay. Um, music's kind of hyping me up. It, it's a little bit too boppy, though. Ah, yes, I've been told about this. So, apparently, as the game progresses, Zelkov here will be chiseling this statue. So, at some point, it's going to look like something more than it does now. Hey, Zelkov. <laughs> As you can see, I am doing a bit of sculpture. It will be a mystery until it is complete. 
yeah, as I said, he's doing a little bit of sculpturing so you can kind of see it progress. That's a nice little touch. It's, it's something different. Okay, let's grab this. And Ancient Well. So we got an iron bow, a, cr a crossbow, like a croissant bow, um, an adept book, and an iron dagger. A crossbow? I, I, no, chuck it back in. <laughs> iron bow? I suppose we could chuck it in, although I don't, yeah. It looks like it doesn't matter how many items you put in for what you get back as well, because I'm fairly certain we just chucked in a single iron bow last time. So unless we can rank up, we should just chuck in like one thing and then sell the rest. I think, anyway. Can I do it with like two of these? No. Or a steel dagger and an iron dagger. And an iron bow? Hmm, interesting. Maybe it's just the highest quality thing you chuck in. Not sure. What about if I chuck in this heal plus one, the iron dagger, the steel dagger, and the iron bow? And the iron axe? Okay, so we, if we chuck in quite a lot, we can do it. I don't think we need to. I think I'm just gonna, like, save our stuff and get money. I think I prefer money over this. Um, now, can I get it with just garbage? That's the next question. So, heal which only has one charge left in it, so obviously we're never going to use it. Got anything else in here that's garbage? Like, probably one of the Obstruct 3s could go. Yeah, that would probably do. Although, yeah, that would probably do. Okay, so we'll chuck them in there. I think that's fine. I don't think I need to do five upgrades. Uh, mainly because I think they're going to give you stuff that's probably too good. I think two upgrades, a reasonable level. Okay. And the main thing it's getting us right now is gold and SP. And to be fair, I'm just throwing my gold um, down the well, so to speak. I'm just throwing it entirely into supports with characters we don't use, so... It, it's not quite being utilized very well. Is Rosado just not around? Is, is, that the, is that the case here? Been looking for Rosado this whole time? Uh, Rosado... Rosado is in the plaza. Uh-huh. Is he? No. I did this before. Ah, in here. Oh, very well camouflaged. I don't know, for some reason, that hair makes you very difficult to see. Also, all the individual curls with it standing out is a very odd look. Hey! I didn't think the Holy Land would be so stylish and cute. I'll need to draw this landscape. Okay. We now have a page on Rosado. Okay. Rosado. Initial class, Wyvern Knight. Birthday, January 19th. Basic info, fought alongside Princess Hortensia against the Divine Dragon's army. Later joined them, bringing Gold Mary and the Ring of the Azure Twins with them. Okay, cool. Right, so we've now done a run around. Let's do our deciding who's going to be on our team. I think that's going to be the most sensible thing that we can do next. Now, we have a potential new person. I'm just going to take away your ring for right now. Sorry, it's, it's gone. So we have the choice between Rosado and Goldmary. And who are they replacing? Well, let's just look at it from a straightforward, who, who are they competing against? Rosado, Wyvern Knight. That means that you are competing against Panette, because it's axe damage, effectively, is what this is. There's a little bit of lance damage, which we currently actually don't have, apart from Louie. So, yeah, you're competing... Actually, almost... Ex you're, you're, you're kind of just competing against... Oh, you're... Well, no, you're not really competing against Kagetsu, because that's sword damage. But you're kind of competing. Yeah, so it's kind of like Panette, Kagetsu, maybe Louie. Honestly, like, the, the main problem you have, Rosado, is that everybody you're competing with are, like, the MVPs of the team. Panette cannot be, cannot leave. Panette is actually insanely good right now due to the crit, and I that's just going to get better, right? As it goes forward, Panette's going to scale up incredibly as the game goes on. 
Same with Kagetsu, to be honest. Like, Kagetsu's got a 70% crit chance now, and that's only going to go up as the game goes on. Like, both of these characters have insane potential damage. Obviously, you're not going to replace Louis. Are you crazy? Which means that effectively, you're, you're having to carve out another spot. Now, maybe we could make an argument for Meryn, right? Meryn fulfills a similar role in our party. Is effectively just extra damage, right? Do we think that Meryn is better than Rosado? Yeah. And I don't even think it's close. I think Meryn completely outclasses Rosado due to being a little bit more self-reliant. I know Rosado was good in the last fight, and I know that we're maybe missing flyers, and that's kind of the only argument you have. Oh yeah, we do have people down here as well. I actually completely forgot these people existed. Uh, we do have Diamant and Saline. Okay. So we've we've determined that they're not going to be anyone who was on our team last time. Are they are they going to fill any side slots, Rosado? Um, I don't know. Are, is Rosado better than Diamon? Now this one I could see an argument for. I think Rosado being better than Diamon is definitely possible. Diamon is sword and axe, which currently Rosado um. Like, Rosado covers the axe side of it, and we don't necessarily need a sword user. So Rosado does outclass Diamant in that. So, rating-wise, rating is not the best way of doing it, but rating-wise definitely outclasses. Strength 17 versus 16. So strength-wise, Rosado is actually lower. Dex versus Dex. Rosado kind of outdoes speed. Rosado is kind of better in speed. Defense, Rosado is better in defense and res. Luck is where Diamant's getting a lot of his points. Yeah, comparative to Rosado, that's where a lot of the points are coming from. And it's basically how much do you value luck. I don't think I value it very highly as a stat. I think Rosado has to, yeah, has to take Diamant's spot. Or at least, for the very least, what we're seeing is Diamant's spot is lost. Right? Like, obviously neither of them are competing with Saline, because Saline is a magic user, and neither of these people use magic, so, like, unless we reclass them, which we could potentially. You have a two magic stat, that seems unlikely. Um, yes, we're, like, neither of them are competing with Saline. So, Diamond, you, uh, I'm in the wrong menu now, that's why I can't do what I'm trying to do. Diamond, let's remove your ring. You have lost that, and that means you're losing Deadly Blade. If you initiate combat with a sword, grants crit plus 10. Wait a second, so that's Marth Ring. So why don't we have that on Kagetsu? I know Kagetsu is using right, Ryoma. Okay, grants crit plus 10. Do, yeah, because this is going to end up being better if the level is higher. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. So what does this give you? This gives you strength, speed, and luck versus um, dex, speed, and luck. No, I think the one he's got on right now is better. Okay, that's fine. So, if Diamond is out of the team, in theory, who who's uh, and also Diamond does have this, may recover HP del, okay, and the hit thing. But oh yeah, what's Rosado's one? If the flow is male, inflicts Avil minus twenty. So, if Diamond is out, who's in? Well, our two choices are Gold Mary and Rosado. Um, Gold Mary also outperforms Diamond. Um, yeah, especially as some of the stats are in magic for Diamond, while well, they're not for a uh, Gold Mary. In fact, just like straight up, outperforms in every category. Yeah, um, if I was to equip you, well, I was just thinking, if I was to equip her with something that um, wasn't lowering her speed, it'd be about even, but I mean, the speed's probably being lowered by the same amount here. Yeah, okay, so, now I'm comparing against these two people. Now, in the last combat, obviously Rosado was better, but Rosado was only better because we used Rosado to go and get, like, another objective. Rosado, in combat, wasn't that impressive. Neither was Gold Mary. Hmm. And it could be equipment. It could be equipment being the difference between these two, right? It could definitely be something there. Gold Mary would be the straight one-to-one -one swap. 
like essentially is just the same as Diamond, though instead of using an axe, you would use a um Yeah, you would use a spear. Although he can S rank his sword, while she can only A rank hers. Hmm. Um let me go back let me go to inventory here. Are, are you actually in your like class? Yeah, you are in an advanced class. Okay. We could potentially put you in an S rank class if we wanted to. I don't know if we want to, but it's something to think about, potentially. Hmm. Okay. And you're also in your class. Yeah. We could do the same here. We could put you in, like, some kind of other class, like Great Knight or something, if we felt like that was the better pa play. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I want to. Okay. I think I'm I'm edging towards Rosado. And my logic is, I actually think Gold Mary may be a better character right now in terms of stats, right? But Rosado being in a flying class is inherently more interesting to me because I think that we can use that in a good way. I think that we can use that to get around problems that we're currently having in combat. Now, the only thing that could change this is if I want to make Gold Mary a flying character. I can make her a flying character, then suddenly everything goes out the window. If I make her a Wyvern Knight, is she a better Wyvern Knight than Rosado? That's an interesting question. Because she could be. So what have we got? 18, 21. So it's 18 for strength, 20 for speed, and 21, 15 for uh, defense and res. Those are the main stats. So 18, 20, 21, 15. 18, 21. Okay, so you're you're doing well so far. Then let's have a look at the other two. Uh, 21, 15. 21, 15. Yeah, so she's a far better flyer than Rosado is. Okay, here's my take. What we're going to do is we're going to actually store all on Rosado. We're going to store all in Diamond. And we are going to transform Gold Mary into a flying class. It's a bit of an odd decision given that we got a flyer at the same time, but I think she's a better flyer than Rosado. Which is kind of odd, but I, th I think this is the case. Yeah. If foe initiates combat from a space the foe cannot enter, grant speed plus 5. That's potentially really good. Okay. Let's go for Wyvern Knight. Our flyers have not been very successful so far. Apart from potentially, you could say Ivy's been successful, but like Ivy hasn't really been using the mat, uh, like the flyer part. Let's do this. It does lower build by one, but I think that's okay because it's a spear and it's an, a sword user. Unlike last time we had this setup, where of course uh, it was not. Okay, so we now have Gold Mary ready. Uh, now, first thing for Gold Mary. Let's just equip her with a ring. And this ring is just going to be something to... That's the wrong ring. Uh, this ring is just going to be something to have on to start off the conversation. And then we can have a look at things later. I think this is fine. Right. Uh, so if I enter and re-enter... Here we go. We have Goldmary, Ivy, Celine, Zalkov, Seedal, Panette, Jean, Pan... Dreo, Marin, Kigetsu, Alchrist, Louis, and, of course, us. I think this seems like an okay team. Yeah. Now, the next question is, we have a new ring. Who gets it? Because the new ring could potentially be good. We don't entirely know what it does, which is interesting. Uh, let's start off by looking at it in here. So, Lunar Brace. Uh, so it does 20% of a foe's defense as extra damage. Gives you dodge, so it means you're less likely to be crit, which is an interesting stat for it to give you. You can switch between things. Yeah, yeah. While engaged, switches... While engaged with er Erica, changes Lunar Brace to Eclipse Brace and Gentility to Blue Skies for all allies. Okay... So, while equipped, it changes Lunar Brace to Eclipse Brace and Gentility to Blue Skies for all allies. Okay. And then Twin Strike does the uh, Ephraim uh, like, attack. Sword attack followed by a Lance attack. 
And then you also have the rapier, which is just like a, a weapon. So gentility, unit, unit takes three damage. So I'm assuming that that means that that will then apply gentili gentility to all allies? Maybe? Okay, where, where's the other build? Okay. I feel like this is really badly written. So obviously you've got the other brace. Is there any way of seeing her other form? I guess not. That's kind of a little bit naff that you can't see the other form while you're in this form. Like, how, how could we see the other form then? Uh, yeah, I don't know. This is a bit odd. Okay. Hmm. But gentility. Yeah, gentility. So it would make every unit have three less damage? Okay. Here's the way I'm reading it. I might be wrong, but when you're equipped with it and you're Erica, it will apply the other effects to everyone. So that's the HP healing and then whatever blue skies is, right? Of course, so we don't know what blue skies is because we don't have blue skies yet, but that's what it will do. I'm guessing if you were equipped with Ephraim, it would do the opposite. So it would apply gentility to all units and then um, and it would apply Lunar Brace. That's what I'm thinking it will do. Okay. Weird. Weird. Okay. What's the type bonus here? 20% extra damage. Cool. Anyone else get a type bonus? Marin gets a type bonus. Ephraim deals 50% extra damage. Okay. Cool. That's a cavalry bonus. Just keep going through here. There's no other bonuses. Wait, Fogado gets a bonus? There's a cavalry bonus. And that's also a cavalry bonus. Yes. <laughs> oh, another, another one. Amber, cavalry. Bander, cavalry. And then it's dragon here. Okay. So the only person in our team who gets a benefit out of it that isn't just a standard benefit is Merrin. Now, one of the interesting things is it does give magic as one of the stats. What does she actually give you in terms of a stat? She gives you dodge. Uh, dodge. Huh. So that's like the one that she gives, so it lowers the chance of being crit. Huh. This this one it is very much one that I'm like, ah, I don't know like if it's good. I, I still have no idea whether this is good or not. Like, this seems bad. On the positive side, though, Lunar Brace. If initiates combat with a physical attack, deals extra damage equal to 20% of death. Now, what would be cool about that on a cavalry unit, potentially, or not cavalry, or more specifically a cavalry unit, but on a knife unit, is knives usually do really low base damage, right? Comparative to the other weapons. But this would allow you to potentially always do some amount of damage, and if you can do some amount of damage, you can apply your debuffs. Yeah, that's potentially good. The only other one I was thinking of was potentially Gold Mary, and the reason why it could potentially be good for Gold Mary is that she gets benefits um, in her class if she can attack from a square that they can't get to, which is also good because the Wind Sword that she gets here would allow you to attack it uh, range, therefore you could be in these unaccessible squares more easily. Potentially something we could look at. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with... I think I'm gonna go with Marin. What does Marin currently have equipped? Marin's current ring is... Uh, I could leave and have a look, but I'm sure I can find it. It's Ellawood, so that's Strength, Dex, and Luck. So instead of Strength, Dex, Luck, you are getting the, so you're getting dex, you're getting luck, you're getting magic instead, but it's not too bad because instead of one strength, which gives you one extra damage on your attacks, you're instead getting 20% of the opponent's defense added, which is probably going to be at least one. Let's say you're attacking a defense 20, you're getting uh, four extra damage. Yeah, I think this seems good. I think Marin seems like a reasonable Lady choice Erica, here. I have you. 
I think the dodge also is not too bad because um, likelihood is you really don't want this unit getting crit because they don't have that much health. So just being hit normally I think would be good here. Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but let's do that for just now. Gentility taking three less damage again would be kind of nice. So yeah, I guess there's some there's some synergy there in like you take less damage then the dodge means that you're not going to be crit, so you're going to be taking a consistently lower amount of damage. If you use day and night, you can swap over to using the solar... Oh, wait, that's his solar brace. Well, it's an eclipse brace. What's blue scat? Yeah, okay, no, never mind. So th this one's called the solar brace and bravery. So what? what's blue skies? You know what? You know what? I've done... I say I don't do this very often in Fire Emblem, and I'm doing it, like, not too many episodes apart. I'm just going to look it up. What is Blue Skies? Blue Skies Fire Emblem Engage. Just tell me what it is. <laughs> uh, Emblem Erica and Ephraim. Wonderful. Eclipse Brace, first, first of all. Oh wait, Solar Brace. If unit initiates combat, unit recovers 30% of damage dealt. Okay, cool. If unit in, elip, Eclipse Brace. If unit initiates combat, unit deals... Uh, Extra damage equal to 20% of the foe's death with physical attacks and recovers 30% of the damage dealt. So Eclipse is both of them. Okay. Um, so, Day and Night switches between them. Sacred Twins um, allows you to switch to that and allows you to apply everything to all allies. Twin Strike allows you to do that. What's Bravery? Unit deals the plus three damage. Okay, and Blue Skies is unit takes three less damage and deals three more damage. Okay, and then the higher levels of it are, you know, exactly what you would expect. It's the exact same stuff, but it's higher numbers. Okay, cool. That's fine. That's all we needed to know. So, that's what we're going to work with. Uh, now, the question, next question is, do we raise up your stats and anything? I don't think we need Lance Agility. I don't think anyone needs any of this, to be honest. I don't think any of this is useful on anyone. <laughs> Necessarily. Like, I think it's all okay, but I don't think it's useful enough that we want to, like, get it. I mean, maybe Lunar Brace or something on somebody could be cool, but I don't think so. Right. Let's leave it there. Okay. So now we've done some talking around about that. Next step is for us to probably have a look and see what we can do with this thing over here yeah so who am i getting stuff up with jade and amber now have i got an outstanding support for jade and amber i don't think i do but let me just have a look jade and amber no outstanding support okay well let's do it then that's fine we can actually work out how many um these are worth as well because we know it takes 12 interactions for it to go up. Although, it, yeah, I suppose between people it's not going to be the same. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. And then this one. So three did not get it to go up. Okay. Let's head over here. And let's uh, have a meal. And then see what we can do after this. Oh, welcome. Hey, Citrine. I'd like to order a meal. Oh, I should have chucked that down the well. My mistake. Uh, let's go for Jade and Amber. What can you make me? You can make me a nut compé or a tree cake. Um, make me the nut thing. Sure, milk, nuts, and then, I don't know, some fruit. Why not? That sounds good to me. Let's start. Shall I prepare a three-course meal? No, a just single dish is it? I'll start by wait. Is this right? Oh no. That doesn't sound good. I think this dish is fit for a banquet. Delicious. Oh. They did like I it. I want to order this. Let's see. B. If Brodian also gained plus one strength. Oh, cool. Here. A parting. Thank you for the leftovers. That's fine. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Uh, but I guess we don't have the support between them. Uh, we still do not have the support between them. Okay, so we need, like, one more interaction, probably. Cool. 
Now we've done that, what is next on our list of things to do? Uh, I guess get the other supports ready would be next on our list. Do we have any extra money? No. Let's work out how much money we have. I think that's going to be a well, good hey next step. So, let's start selling things. From our convoy. So, um, we probably don't need another woe Dao, but we might need it. Let's just sell this. This one's an easy sell. We don't need two silver lances, potentially. Oh, maybe we do. We probably don't need this. But, um, let's sell one silver lance. I mean, what's the worst that happens? I have to rebuy it. We can sell the javelin for sure. That's fine. Here, the iron axe, the silver axe can go. Uh, a couple of hand axes can go. The rest of that's fine. Here, uh, I can sell this. I don't think I need the crossbow. Uh, I probably don't need the iron bow either. This is fine. I don't need the iron dagger. I probably, actually, I don't need the steel dagger. I can say that for certain. Uh, I have no fist items. Have anything in here that's not going to be used? Well, I'm probably not going to use the one bombs, so let's get rid of them. Uh, I probably have too many torches, let's be honest, but that's okay. Sorry, Citrine. Okay, we've sold our meal. I should really use elixirs more. I just never do, for some reason. I don't know. Take care. They never enter into my uh, workflow, so I never actually do that. Okay. Let's have a look at uh, the ally notebook and figure out who's next on our list. So, uh, Alfred, um, Alfred and Etier, I think are next on our list. Yeah, because Saline hasn't actually been fired. So let's go Alfred, Etier. Let's have a look at our supports, Alfred and Etier. Uh, so Alfred, we are currently at a C support with. And Etier, we are currently at a no support with. Oh no. Right. Let's start with Alfred then. Is Alfred out and about? Well, are either of them out and about? That's the next question. Otherwise, we're going to sleep. Alfred is in the orchard. Would be lovely if Etier was also available. She is not. Okay. So Alfred in the orchard. Let's go and find him. Uh, well, what does he like? That's, that's step number one, I guess. Ally notebook. Alfred. Likes training, exercise, the sun at dawn, music, flowers, mussels, four-leaf clovers, other people's happiness. Okay. Let's see what we can buy him that fits into those categories. We might have some things already to try out. Wait, it says he's here. Oh, he's, he's, oh, yes, yes. He's down here past the amiibo gazebo. Hello. Hey, I have some gifts for you. How about Muscle Balm? That seems good. Nice. Hey, cool. Immediately we get a conversation. Well, let's do it. Conversation between us and but Alfred. Let's go. Hi, Alfred. Do you have a moment? Sure do. Whatever you need, I'm all ears. I appreciate the beautiful breakfasts you've been bringing me in the mornings, but would you please stop making them? Oh no! They've been too heavy on the meat, haven't they? I just wanted you to get strong. To be honest, they do have a ton of meat, but that's not why I'm bringing it up. I just feel bad that you've gone out of your way to do this for me every morning. Ah, uh, I get you. Sorry about that. I wasn't out to make you feel bad. I thought my friend would enjoy waking up to healthy, yummy breakfasts, but I'll cut it out. Thank you, Alfred. There was one other thing. Oh? Every night, as I'm fading into sleep, I hear the haunting song of a flute. Yeah, that's me playing a lullaby, just making sure the Divine One gets a good night's rest. Not weird at all. Yeah, totally normal. Ah, I thought that was your silhouette outside my sanctum. Your playing is quite lovely, but I'd like for you to stop doing that as well. Please. The song continued into the late hours, and it started invading my dreams. Oh no, I am so sorry! I had a hard time telling when you were asleep, so I just kept going. I was only trying to help, but 
Wow, this really didn't pan out. Maybe I'm not worthy of being your friend. Oh. Uh, that's rather extreme. That's not why you're not worthy. You're not worthy because you're truly awful in combat, as shown by Chapter 11. Although we've forgiven you for that. I always try to keep things light, but I feel awful right now. I need a jog to clear my head. Sorry for the trouble, Divine One. I'm off for my run. Goodbye. Wait! Alfred? We've reached B. Let's have a look at what we've got in the ally notebook for Alfred. So, Alfred. Hobbies. Exercise. Chatting. Talents. Rising early. Making flower garlands. Background. He was ill as a child and now seeks to compensate through exercise. His father taught him mastery of the lance before he died. Oh, okay. We got a little bit more into him here. That's probably why they have him as a little bit naive. If he was ill as a child, he didn't get out very much, and this is his first, you know, proper view into the real world. It's kind of like an awakening. He was probably sheltered. Okay, cool. Now, we know it takes 12 what? to get him up to the next rank, so let's see how many we've got here. Uh, it said he liked flowers, right? Fairly certain it said he liked flowers. I mean, he probably does anyway, but let's have a look. He does like flowers. Flowers and mussels. But Well, I have a flower. Yeah, how about this thing? Thanks. Okay. Uh, he likes clovers as well, he said, right? Four-leaf clovers? Nice. Okay, so that's two. Although we got different dialogue for each, so I'm assuming that means one was better than the other. Yeah, two. Uh, pretty pebble. That's three. Thanks. Spirit gem. Four. Nice. Spirit gem, five. Nice. Spirit gem, six. Nice. Manure. <laughs> uh, no thanks. Did you come all this way to show me this? Well, you can put it away now. Okay, so we've done six, so we need six more things. So flowers, mussels, things like that. I think it said music as well, but we can double check that if it happens to be cheaper. Let's go see what he actually has over here and we'll see how things are going. Or what is for you sale know. over here. You have new merchandise, really? Ah, uh, yes. Let's have a look. What new merchandise do you have? Oh, steel ingots. You have 40 of them. I can buy them one at a time for 500 gold. That's a little past my uh, pay grade, but hey, a sturdy rod. Yeah, okay, we'll buy Thanks that. Thanks for shopping. Okay. Uh, what is next on our list here? Crafting, reading. White clovers are 20. Yeah, let's get them six Thanks for of these. shopping. Thanks for 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 shopping. Feel free okay, to come Okay, that's again. definitely your best one here. Okay. Uh, one thing I want to check. We got the sturdy rod, so it does mean our fishing level is upgraded. So obviously we'll go and do the more the higher level of fishing. But does that mean we have the higher level of these as well? Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm not going to do it right now if we have the same levels, but I just want to have a look. What'll it be? How hard do you want to no, go? No, we don't have expert What'll yet. It be? Okay, that's fine. We will leave it be then. Oh, I, I suppose I could check this while I'm here. Is Ivy even who's standing in front want of to go it? For a run? So that's fine. We're from right. Which would you like? Until next. No, that's time. fine. Okay. We will leave it be then. And that's okay. Oh wait, I thought of something else that we need to do on the way back to Alfred. And we can actually do it on the way back to Alfred because it's kind of there. Uh, we need to go to the Amiibo Gazebo because we have one more thing that we've just unlocked. Because we've got another emblem, that means that we should have uh, more outfits, right? Yes, we have Erica style. That's awful. It, it's just truly bad. I don't know what they were thinking. Like, it's just truly awful. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm wait. I'm gonna buy it. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm gonna buy it. Yeah, that's our last ticket. Then songs. Ooh. Cool. That's enough of that. Right. We'll leave it be. And. We're going to speak to Alfred again. We're going to pump him full of but... white clover. Hello. 
One. Nice. Two. Na. Three. Na. Four. Na. Five. Na. Six. Nice. That wasn't enough. I'm sure it was 12, right? 12 was a rank up? Hmm. One of them must not have been like a full rank up. That must have been the first dialogue we got. Must have been like, that wasn't good enough. Unless the white clovers aren't good enough. But they're the four leaf clovers that said he liked. Uh, yeah. and, he, and he says, what a special gift. Okay, let's buy a couple of these. Thanks for shopping. Thanks for shopping. Thanks for shopping. Feel free to come again. Just in case I'm just slightly off. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, we can use the fast travel to get back there. There's new stuff at the boutique and the item shop. Oh, okay. What have we got? New outfit? Ah. Oh, hello. What have you got? The Sandy set. Uh-huh. The Daybreak set. Yeah. The Simple set. Uh-huh. And that's it. So the Sandy set's kind of like just a different version of what we're wearing. And the, sorry, the Daybreak's different version and then Evening is kind of like the Sandy, just like a reskin. Okay, well, that's fine. I'll, keep, I'll stick with what we're wearing. That's no, no problem. Uh, oh, I suppose we should actually, you know, just for completeness. Oh, first of all, we have the Elegant Mask, which I think might be new. Maybe not, though. Uh, but we should go to somebody like, you know, Marin. Just have a look at these ones. Okay. She does not look very happy in any of the sets. But there we have it. Be well. Cool. Right. Uh, now we've done that. It's back over to Alfred. And we're going to give him some more white clovers. They do only cost 20 apiece. We should probably not be uh, too stingy with them. Nice. There we go. I must have miscounted. Or one only counted as half. But we now have his support up to max rank. Cool. We're not quite done yet with it. We now to move time forward till we get an Etier, and then we can do the next bit. Although, if I'm gonna do that, I didn't check the item shop either. We'll do that when we get out. Uh, we should also do the arena on the way past, uh, like on the way out. But that's okay, we can do that. Right, into our room. Shouldn't be too bad. We got a relay ticket upon entering the room. I think it gives you a relay ticket the first time you switch area uh, when you reload the game on a day. But yeah, anyway. Let's see who we get. Rest. It should, in theory, be somebody who we have an A rank with. So it should be somebody we spoke with last time we were in the Somnial, I think. Morning has come. Louis. I suppose it will take more than saying so to wake you. Although, I feel I am not the ideal person to be doing this. Surely the Divine Dragon should be tended to by someone more important. Yes. A monarch would be appropriate. Or at least a royal. <gasps> Divine One! How long have you been awake? Cool. Well, we got Louis one. Now, I was told originally, I think, that these you would get whoever you had the highest support with. Um, but I'm fairly certain it wasn't Louis who we have the highest support with. I'm thinking that it might just be random. Uh, unless, are we A rank with Louis? I don't think we are. I mean, Louis has been around a lot, so we might be high with him. But no, like, we are only a C rank with him. Okay, because we're not we don't stand that much time next to each other. Alright, yeah, Somnial map. We got an Etier. It's the first thing to check before we even think about moving on. We do. Training yard Etier. Okay, I mean, well. Uh send me to the arena first. Then we'll think about heading to the training yard. After that. Um I should also check whether there's anyone who would be like whether there's any emblem who would be good for Gold Mary to get things off of. Um, 
I don't know. You can get Luna Brace, interestingly. Um, I don't think we need defense or agility. I mean, HP is a solid one, just in general. Like, HP, I don't think could go bad, necessarily. So it might be worth a little HP. Maybe speed would be a good thing for her, potentially. I think speed would be really good. Maybe Alacrity could be cool. Maybe Alacrity HP, something like that. You just need to get level 5 with both um, Lin and with Corrin. But yeah, I think something like that could be good. Well, what's your speed when you're using a thing? Let me just have a look. Because we have a lack to your speed is 32. 26, you don't have it. Your speed is 15 while using a spear. What's your speed while using, like, I don't know, a silver sword? Your speed is 19. That's still lowered. Uh, what is it at base? That's probably a better way of looking at it. At base, it is 22. Okay. Hmm. 22 is good. I just don't know if it's going to be good enough. No, I don't think it is. I think maybe just HP from Corrin is the way we want to play this. So let's go Emblem, Gold Mary, and then Corrin to level 5. Corrin's going to get a lot at level 5, I imagine. Prepare to be awestruck. I am Corrin. I won't lose. Nice. This loss cool. pains me. I'm sorry that you stood no chance. Ooh. Conversation. You're always so poised and relaxed in battle, Gold Mary. How do you do it? A luxurious hot spring bath refreshes my body and leaves me with a serenity that lasts all day. Oh, it's that simple, I guess. Cool. We're after that um, max HP. Okay. Um, let me just check. What? How could we get? We get to like plus ten. I don't think we need plus ten. I think that's fine. Let's do inherit skills, Gold Mary. You are going to get um, HP plus 7. Cool. Which now just makes her a little bit more of a tanky unit. And then standard. Jean. Back to the training mines for you. I'm uh, Jean. Should I really be here? Who's he fighting this time? Just the challenger I was hoping Marin. for. Okay. Let's fight. This is a common one between them. <laughs> Okay. You trounced me thoroughly. You I'm did. Impressed. You trounced Marin thoroughly. That's fine. And then, back into it again. More training. Hi there. I'm Jean, a doctor in training. Saline has arrived. Oh, they've already had their support Dare? between each other. John absolutely destroys her now. I think I've grown up a little. Okay. And then the last one. John, back in there again. Let's try not to hurt each other, okay? Clan, Divine Dragon Fan Club co-founder. Oh no. Oh, Clan. Oh, lost. A single punch. I think punch. I've grown up a little. Oh dear. Hey, conversation available. Uh, well, that's surprising. Um, right. Uh, let's head to the cafe terrace. And we'll work our way out from here. So we need to go to item shop. Etier. Get Etier up. And then we can start doing supports. That's the plan anyway. Yes. In theory. You know, I did manage to reduce the amount of time that we spent in the Somnial. Like, down to, like... A very short amount of time, and now, now we're back up up to a, a long time again. Anyway, that's fine. We're at least doing interesting stuff now, unlike uh, previously, when we were just doing push-ups. Uh, convoy. Let's buy into there. What was new? Master seals and second seals, I think? Yeah. 
I think those are the new things, plus a restock on uh, staffs. Okay, or staves, or however you want to say it. Right, Etier should be up here. There we go. Hello. So. I'm not here for strength training, actually. I'm here to, like, figure out what you like. Here's some horse manure. What the? What the? Every muscle in my body is shocked. Okay, so you like training and muscles and things. Let's see what we can find. I don't know. Maybe we'll get something from our first page, which will be useful. Let's see what we can find at the uh, shop. Hey, Gold Mary. We'll speak to you in a bit. I hey, Panette. Flea market. Uh, yes. Okay. Um. Cooking and herbs, music, knitting, sewing and knitting. Fan of weapons, playing cards. Uh, is she a child? I don't think she's a child. Uh, do you think she's a fan of weapons? She could be. I'm gonna buy some Thanks white clovers. Thanks for shopping. Thanks for shopping. Thanks for shopping. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy. I don't know some sh Thanks cheap for Thanks for shopping. Thanks for shopping. Thanks for shopping. Feel let's see. Let's see what we can get to. Let's try saving some money. Let's buy some of this garbage and see what, what whether any of it's good enough to at least get points up. Then we can find out what secret special interest she has. Okay. Hello. I think weapons are probably the answer, but let's see. These are cheaper. Thanks. Oh, okay. Well, we got the conversation. Hello. So. Let's have a support. <laughs> huh? What's up? You're looking at me kind of weird. Sorry. I didn't mean any offense. I just couldn't help it. I just like staring at people and laughing. Is there something wrong with how I look? Oh, no, nothing like that. Then tell me why you're laughing already. <laughs> well, you know how you're always so confident? Huh? I was thinking about how plain it is on your face. There's confidence all over you. It's kind of inspiring to look at. Which is why you were staring. And laughing. Forgive me, Etier. If it bothers you, I'll stop. Nah, I don't mind. I'm actually a little honored to help out the Divine One. If staring at me lifts your mood, go ahead and stare all you want. Thank you. I mean, it's a little embarrassing, but a quick jog will help get my mind off it. See you around, Divine One. Okay. Sure. Um, all right. Uh, let's head to Etier. Likes training, tea parties, flowers. Hey, she'll all like the, well, maybe she won't like the white clovers, but tea parties, flowers, meat, interesting tasting muscle stimulants, dislikes precise work, sewing, cleaning, anything she can't do with brute strength. Okay. So, like, note down that one. Do not bring her the sewing equipment. She will not like it. Okay. That's fine. Head back here. So the white clovers, do they count as flowers? I don't even know if they do. I, see. I think they might just count uh, as yes. uh, cooking or clovers. Let's see though. Cooking and herbs. Yes, that doesn't sound right, does it? Music? She didn't like music. What did she Feel like? Free to come again. Like none of these. None of those things, right, are on her list. She gave us a, a very specific list for what she likes, and none of this is on it. She likes tea parties. That's a I party. Said. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Let, let's buy her party stuff. Playing cards? I don't really know if these are tea parties. Thanks for shopping. 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 Buy six of those. And some more Thanks white for clovers. Thanks for shopping. 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 Feel free to Let, come Let's again. see how this goes. I'm gonna try giving her like a mixture of things, and we'll see what she likes. I don't know how we'll know what she likes, but you know, we'll see. Right up here. Hello. So At least it's not a long run. 
Here is a playing card. Thanks. That's exactly the same as we got for the white clover, right? Thanks. White clovers are cheaper. So we'll give you white clovers. Thanks. Thanks. Four. Five. Thanks. Six. Thanks. Seven. Eight. Thanks. Nine. Thanks. Ten. Thanks. Eleven. Thanks. Twelve. Thanks. Eee, that doesn't seem good. Thanks. It doesn't seem like we're getting a lot of points Thanks. up here. Yeah, because I think that was like 14. Alright, Etty. B level support. I see you're staring at me again, Divine One. I was. Again. <laughs> Sorry. I just can't help it. You know I don't mind. It's pretty neat, in fact. That said, I can think of better ways for you to feel good than just admiring my confidence. Such as? A hundred laps around the Somniel. Oh. Like, running? Even I get stressed sometimes. And when I do, I always go for a run. As long as I'm running, my mind is empty. It's like I'm sweating out all my troubles. Huh. Still, are a hundred laps really necessary? In my experience, yes. Anything less runs the risk of a few stray lingering doubts. Don't want those. So, how about it? You interested? Yes, I think. Great, let's get started. You mean now? No time like the present. Do you want to get confident or not? I hadn't planned on running a hundred laps today, but I guess it's worth a try. You're on, Etie. Let's go for a run. Now you're talking. Hey, B-level. New thing in the Ally Notebook. Etie. So, Etie. Hobbies. All forms of exercise, talents, cultivating flowers, background. The daughter of a Furanese Marquis has an older brother and sister. She was childhood friends of Saline, who sparked her interest in working out. Okay. Um, I've also been thinking about stuff that we're going to buy. If the White Clovers give her any support up, it's probably still beneficial to buy those, right? Let's say that they're half as effective as a normal uh, stat up, right? Or a number, normal support up. I that means that effectively, uh, instead of costing yeah. 20, they cost 40? I mean, they're still very cheap. Like, they're still, I think, the cheapest thing we can buy. Thanks for shopping. 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 Feel free to come again. Okay. Buy 200 items very quickly done. Just by buying white clovers over and over and over again. Ah, dear. Right. Then we just head over here to Etty and we say, hey. Here's a whole bunch of white clovers. Just a huge pile of white clovers. Thanks. Right. Thanks. I know about 24, so we can Thanks. see how we end up here. Instead of having Thanks. to count them, we can just see how many we have Thanks. left. Thanks. That's fine. So it's like, in theory, bought double the amount we need. Thanks. If 12 Thanks. is the number we needed. Thanks. 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 Okay, so we're above Thanks. 12 already. That's fine. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. 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 Uh huh. Yeah. Thanks. Mm hmm. Thanks. Thanks. Quite a lot of white clovers, Thanks. really. Thanks. Twenty-four. Okay, so white clovers were worth half a point, in theory, assuming that one point gets you onto the twelve scale. Half a point gets you onto the 24 scale. The reason why it was quicker with Alfred is we gave him something he did actually like. Okay. Well, we have our A-level. So. Let's do our A-level support. How did you like our run the other day? That was my first time ever doing a hundred laps around anything. I slept like a baby afterward. And then came the muscle aches the next morning. Oops. I should have warned you about that. But the run itself was just like you said. When I ran, I could feel my troubles fade away. There was nothing on my mind but the run. 
It was honestly pretty strange. So you get it now. Ugh, oh, it's such an honor to be able to do that for you. But we're not done yet. Next time, I'd like you to try some muscle balm afterward. Some what now? You have to let yourself recover after serious exercise, or your muscles will complain again. Ah, that makes sense. If I keep jogging with the muscle bomb you mentioned, will I be as confident as you? Of course. It works for me, and I'm just a normal person. The divine one on this program? You'd be so confident that you might actually start glowing. <laughs> the way you say it, I almost believe it could happen. I was content before to be inspired by your confidence, but with these exercises, maybe I could be the one inspiring others, just like you did for me. You've helped a lot, Etie. Aw, divine one. You're gonna make me blush. This seems like a good time for a quick jog. I'll see you later. Wait! I think I embarrassed her into going on another run. Well, that's okay. If I follow her, I can get in a few laps around the Somniel myself. Okay. Well, we learned very little about Etier. Uh, I mean, we learned a little bit, but mostly we got some propaganda for running. By propaganda, it doesn't need to be bad. I think it's pretty good. Anyway, here's our portrait for it. I, it's a very inappropriate outfit to do push-ups in, but there you go. Height, 5 feet. Ring size, 6.5, uh, you know, or N. Personality, can seem stuck up, but actually confident and energetic. Dedicated to her training and has a keen interest in related research. The best jogger in the army. Alright, well, next up, we're going to start going into our supports. And the next support we have is... Alfred. Let's go. Ah, there you are, Alfred. Do you recall when you said you weren't worthy of my friendship? Yeah. I didn't think hard enough about your feelings and I made a pest of myself. Well, I disagree with what you said. You're my friend, Alfred. We ended up here because you were trying so hard to help me, which I do appreciate. So please, don't ever say things like that again. Sorry, Divine One. Everything I did was way off the mark. How could I possibly still call myself your friend? You already do so much for me, Alfred. Doing additional things isn't necessary. You know, you were the first friend I made after I awoke. Fran and Clan? Completely lost. Completely out of our minds. Vander? Not a chance. Our mother? No way. Alfred? Yup. Alfred's our first friend. It would pain me if my first friend didn't spend time around me anymore. Your first friend, huh? That's got a real ring to it. Thank you. I'd be honored. I did feel close to you, you know, even before you woke up. So when you finally did wake up, I was so excited that I went completely overboard. But I'm through with all that. From now on, let's be plain old friends. I'd like that. Very much. Good. Oh, I have a great idea. No, you're not coming back on the team. As my totally regular friend, what do you say we do laps around the atrium together? Why does everyone want to go running? Laps? As in running? Right now? No time like the present. Off we go! Now wait just a moment. I haven't even agreed. Alfred? Alfred! And with that... Our friendship has reached its maximum level, and we have a new thing in the Ally Notebook. Alfred. Height, 5'9", ring size 6, or M. Okay. Personality, generous and kind, often helping before you can think. Loves to find small joys and hates being alone. Most floral smelling person in the army. Okay. Well, there you go. Next up on our support list, we have Kigetsu. It's our first support with Kigetsu. So let's see how it goes. Divine One! Divine One! Since you appear human, I am curious. What are the differences between dragon and human? 
Let's see. We live a bit longer than humans. We're typically stronger and more agile. A bit longer? You've literally just slept for a thousand years and you look the same age as everyone else. A bit seems like, you know, a bit of an under-exaggeration there. You're right about appearance, though. We look much the same. Interesting. Oh, is it also true that you slumbered in the Somniel for 1,000 years? What was it that woke you after all that time? Did you tire of sleeping? To be honest, I'm not sure. I see. And what were you doing before you went to sleep? I'm sorry. I don't remember much from before I woke up. <sighs> A pity. You're asking lots of questions, Kagetsu. Why are you so interested in me? Why should I not be? We are friends, of course. Oh. Friends? We've actually not spoken that much. To my mind, we have been friends ever since we first spoke. And I like to know my friends. Is it not so for you? Do you not want to be my friend? No, of course I do. Good. Then I would like to know all about you so we can strengthen our bond. So I should get comfortable and brace for more questions. Got it. Okay then. Our support level is reached C, and that means that we have a new page in the notebook on Kagetsu. Likes weapons training, games, and contests of skill. Worthy opponents, parties, fish, onigiri, pale sands, food, dislikes, cleaning, missing his country's food, reading, cold, personalities, uh, cooking, dairy. I didn't mean to put the space between cold and personalities, I just didn't realize it was two things originally. Right. Next up, Panette. Let's go. That was incredible! Yes, learn to strike with that much force and you are sure to trounce all comers. In truth, I was rather surprised when you asked me for lessons in brawling. I take it you wish to give someone a forceful talking to? A debtor, perhaps? What? No, nothing like that. I figure that I could lose my weapon when I'm in battle, or get ambushed when I'm not. Just in case, it's best I learn how to hold my own in physical combat. I see. That is quite shrewd, Divine One. Very well. I shall instruct you in the ancient art of the fisticuffs. How to hone an indomitable spirit. How to repel foes with a mere scowl. There is much I can teach you. I see. Well, I'm ready to learn. Good. I will make you into the most fearsome of scrappers. Let us begin. Okay. Straightforward start. We know where that one's going. Cool. And a new page on Panette. I feel like we know more about Panette from some that we've already had uh, with Panette. So, um, yeah, they didn't really tell us very much. Like spicy food, folk food, scary stories, ruins, weapons, gloomy places, bugs, ghosts, meat roasted by Tamara, dislikes, cute things, cooking, flowers, cleaning, etiquette, church, and sacred places. Okay. Next up we have Gold Mary. Was the meal to your satisfaction, Divine One? Oh, yes. It was delicious. Thanks so much. Could you look me in the eyes, please? Uh, sure. Perfect. Keep on looking right at me. You have such an intense gaze. Tell me what you're feeling in this moment. Awkward? Hmm. Nothing much, really. <sighs> have I stirred your heart so little? Let me ask you again. I'll whisper in your ear this time. Has your lunch with me today brought you any feelings of contentment? You're a very weird person. Oh, very much so. I knew it. Oh, I'm so glad. Tell me more about these feelings. Well, I'm so content I couldn't eat another bite. I'd be really curious to learn your recipe. Uh, my recipe? Not exactly what I had in mind, 
But if that's really what you want, I'll teach you. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. Right. Weird. Weird. You're in this category. Yeah, yeah. Gold Mary. Likes fashion, cute things, hot spring cooking, laundry, flowers, cleaning herself, compliments herself. Dislikes weapons, training, sunburns, tough foods, those who can't see her perfection. Oh. Okay. Well, we'll see you later. Um, next up we have Allcrest and Pandreo. Last time, Pandreo tried to take Allcrest to a party and he was very unhappy about it. I have ringing ears and wobbly knees and so, so many regrets. Why, why did I give this a second shot? I already knew I didn't belong there. Oh, oh, oh. oh, Pandreo. Prince Alchrist! You had fun this time, right? I saw you mixing it up on the dance floor. I did join in and try to dance, but... Well, I can only assume that I'm incapable of enjoying any party. What makes you say that? I had no idea what I was doing back there. Everyone around me was whirling and gyrating so effortlessly. I only know formal dances. And the howling. I do not understand why everyone keeps howling. My skull is rattling. Ah, now I see the problem. Listen, your highness. There's something I forgot to tell you. At a party, you don't need to worry about what's, why's, and how's. It's not that deep. Really? Are you sure? Yep. There's no correct way to dance. And as for the howls, <laughs> they don't mean anything. So all of the cheering and dancing is chaotic on purpose? People are just making it up? Exactly. It's about getting lost in the motion and having fun. Other than that, anything goes. I was trying so hard to understand the structure of the party, the behaviors and movements. I was in my own head, not on the dance floor. I wasn't embracing the spontaneity. Let's give it another shot. You, me, a solid beat, and two completely empty heads. Oh, oh glad to see he's getting into the spirit of things. Okay. Cool. They, I like their little friendship. Next up, we have Kagetsu and Meren. Oh, how could I be so foolish? Dropping my onigiri, my one and only lunch. What do I do? I had so much to do today. Now I fear I will collapse from hunger. You look like you could use a snack. Do you like sweets? I have some to share. Marin? You would help me in my hour of need? My gratitude knows no bounds. With all my heart, thank you. You're very welcome. Enjoy. Sweet. And delicious! Oh, now I am full of energy! Wow, you devoured those. You must have been very hungry. Yes. That hits all my spots. Thank you. Now I can challenge Princess Tamara to single combat without worry. Excuse me? You're going to challenge my princess to a fight? No. No, you certainly will not. <laughs> Why not? Fighting strong opponents is fun. I have some skill, so I think Princess Tamara will find our duel challenging. Yes, well, as retainer to Princess Tamara, I will not allow you to put her in harm's way. You are much too worried. To think, I helped someone who wants to attack my princess. What a truly unforgivable mistake. If you insist on fighting her, you'll have to defeat me first. I would gladly take you on. Ordinarily, at least. But I would not feel right about repaying you so roughly. Very well, Marin. 
You have persuaded me to step back from this for now. <sighs> you are so wary. I, I am not lying. My contest with Princess Tamara will simply have to wait until another time. Two people who just love escalating the situation. Kagetsu just completely over the top and Meren just having absolutely no knowledge that Kagetsu is completely over the top. It, it's fantastic. Right. Seedol and Kagetsu. Earnestness versus... Um, determination, I guess? I don't know. Hmm. La Rue de Fortune. Wheel of Fortune in the upright position. Ah, right. Seedol is a fortune teller, and Kagetsu can see the future. Yes, I can see how they would have a support. Hello, Seedol. What are you doing? I'm honing my divination powers using a tarot deck. While I'm best known for my dancing, I'm also skilled at fortune telling. Already you excel, and yet you remain in continual practice. You are very dedicated. I have my reasons. I see. As long as I'm practicing, I could give your fortune a read, Kagetsu. Oh, no need. I already have this ability. I will demonstrate. <clears throat> Prepare yourself. Soon you will be eating... Sliced meat layered between... Two breads. Ooh. Yes, that's right. But how did you... I told you. It is my ability to see the future. You can just see the future? Could you show me how? I am surprised you are so interested. Alas, my power cannot be taught. I was born with this gift. I did not acquire it by learning, but it is cooling fans in winter. As they say, useless. I get only inconsequential details. I see. It sounds like I should probably focus on my own divination skills. I'm, I'm, yeah, I suppose. Good luck to both of you. Jean, plan? I'm sure you have a lot to talk about. Oh, dash it all. Face it, Jean. You're lost. It'll cause a fuss if I don't get back soon. <laughs> Jean? Is everything all right? Oh, uh, hello, clan. Were you crying? Did something happen? I... I wasn't crying. I was just a bit anxious from losing my way, that's all. Our forces are getting hurt quite a lot lately. I came here to forage for healing herbs. Oh, really? That's very helpful of you. I found the herbs I needed, but then I got caught up in my work. And the next thing I know... You got lost. What about you, clan? Why are you here? I'm here for herbs, too. The kind I need to make pickles. Oh, so, uh, do you know the way back? Oh, yes. I come here a lot, so I can help you get back safely. That would be very kind of you. You have to pay close attention to your surroundings when going into the forest alone. You're right, of course. I'll be more careful next time. Good thing I happened to run into you, huh? Let's go home. Thank you, clan. That support is really odd, with clan being, you know, the, uh, per the person who's kind of more mature, knows it around the place, like... He, he's more sure of himself, he's more knowledgeable, and then you just have, like, Jean kind of like, oh, I don't know. But then now when you look at them in their gameplay classes, Jean is a god of punching and Clan hasn't advanced at all. It's, like, really odd. Anyway, now we have Seedol and Rosado. I don't know. Let's see what they, these two have to talk about. You can look. I don't mind. Uh, what? You've kind of been staring at me. It's okay. I know I'm adorable. You were admiring my cuteness, right? Admire away. Oh, well, I suppose you're not wrong. I do appreciate the way you take care of yourself and your appearance. Your hair is so shiny. 
It practically glows. And your skin, it's the picture of health. I'm dying to know what your beauty secret is. <laughs> Aw, thanks so much. I don't have any beauty secrets, though. That's not possible. You have to be doing something. Watching what you eat, exercising vigorously, something? It's not possible to look like you without putting in some kind of effort. If you're telling the truth, it's just not fair. I put a lot of work into being me. I don't know what to tell you. I really don't do anything special. Please. Maybe it's something you're not aware of. Or maybe you're just keeping your secret from me. Either way, I'm going to figure it out. As a dancer, my craft demands it. Good for you. Okay. Um, we have learned that Rosado is adorable, which you could tell at first glance. And with that, we have finished all of the supports. We are completely and utterly done with everything we need to do in the Somniel, except for, of course, one thing, which is all the inventory management, plus getting these extra items on the map, plus doing a, a Somni's thing, plus potentially doing some more stuff with the uh, rings and stuff. Oh, actually, there's one other thing we can do right this second, uh, plus this. There we go. Extra 2,000 bond fragments. But yes, apart from all of those things, and fishing, and strength training, and wyvern training, apart from all of those things, we are done in the Somniel. So, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you very much for watching. Next time, it is time for us to head out, and I think we're going to try Tiki's Divine Paralogue again. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Rise from a